Salam dostar, hope you're doing well. Uh, my name is Anish and welcome to a new video. Uh, in this video, I want to explain or I want to show you uh, the amazing bilateral relationship between Kazakhstan and India. Uh, when I came to Kazakhstan for the first time seven years ago, I was thinking probably I'm the first Indian coming to Kazakhstan because uh, all of us, most of the Indians know that all of us want to either go to the Eastern, Middle Eastern countries or to the Western countries like US, UK, Australia. Nobody in India is growing up thinking that, oh, I'm going to go to Kazakhstan and build a new life there. But uh, due to a series of events, fortunately, I landed in Kazakhstan. Uh, to my uh, surprise, there were a lot of Indians already living in Kazakhstan. There are a lot of Indian businesses, Indian restaurants in Kazakhstan. Uh, so in this video, we will be going through the current situation between India and Kazakhstan, showing how friendly they are. And from my personal experience, I have also benefited with the amazing relationship between these two countries. Uh, one example is those who come to Kazakhstan to work. They need a work permit and they need a work visa. So to get a work visa, you need to get a work permit. And especially if you are coming to uh, Kazakhstan to teach, this work permit may take very long time because for teaching, your documents have to be verified by the Education Ministry, Foreign Ministry and various other government agencies in Kazakhstan. But due to some kind of uh, bilateral relationship between India and Kazakhstan, Indians who are coming to Kazakhstan to teach or any working in any education sector don't need a work permit and they can work as long as possible, as long as they want in Kazakhstan teaching in Kazakhstan. So that's one advantage that I'm always uh, having. So uh, let's go through some other information. Um, Kazakhstan and India, the tourism is growing mutually. Last year itself, 20,000 Indians came to Kazakhstan as tourists and 15,000 Kazakh citizens visited India as tourists. The, the main reason are now, now, now there are direct flights between Kazakhstan and India, especially to Delhi. You can either take Air Astana and Air Astana has a code sharing relationship with Air India. So you can book flights between India and Kazakhstan by using either Air India website or Air Astana website. So just for any, anyone who's new to Kazakhstan, Air Astana is the national carrier of uh, Kazakhstan. And also talking about visa, uh, because Air Astana is the biggest uh, air company in Kazakhstan, those who are flying through uh, Air Astana using Air Astana can visit Kazakhstan for I guess four days, 96 hours without a visa. It's very uh, good for Indians because we have very less countries that we can visit without a visa. So that boosted uh, Indian tourists to Kazakhstan and e for mutually. Uh, India also opened e-visa for Kazakh citizens. So nowadays Kazakh citizens can apply for visa, uh, pay a small amount of fees and visit India easily. So we'll be discussing uh, from few news articles that I found online and uh, let's go through it. Relations between Kazakhstan and India have a long history. At the beginning of the first millennium, the Sakas went from Central Asia to India and Buddhism from India was introduced in Kazakhstan. The great silk and spice routes united India and Kazakhstan in the Middle Ages. There was a constant exchange of goods, ideas and thoughts between these countries. The year 2017 marked the 25th anniversary of the diplomatic relationships between India and Kazakhstan. Since 1991, when Kazakhstan gained independence, both countries have strengthened their relation, relations. In 2009, India and Kazakhstan became strategic partners following President of Kazakhstan Nuzutwa Nazarbayev's visit to India. Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi visited Kazakhstan in 2015 and 2017. Politically, these countries have excellent relations and economic and commercial ties which are improving every day. Both countries are partners in such areas such as healthcare, education, space, IT technology and energy. India is also well positioned in the renewable energy, especially in wind and solar. And Modi initiated establishing the International Solar Alliance ISA, composed of more than 121 countries. 
The primary objective of the alliance is to work towards efficiently exploiting solar energy to reduce dependence on fossil fuels, which will also continue to help countries meet the climate change goals. Kazakhstan is India's largest trade partner in Central Asia, with last year's trade turnover between these countries reaching 1 billion US dollars. India is interested in Kazakhstan's oil, uranium, and Kazakhstan imports mainly India, Indian medicines and tea. Now there are good flight connections between these two countries also. Air Astana has direct flights between Delhi to both Astana and Almaty. Direct flights had a positive effect on tourism also. Uh, approximately 20,000 people from India visit Kazakhstan and 15,000 Kazakhs visited India. The figure is increasing every year and the embassy has simplified the procedure for issuing visa. India has started giving electronic visa for Kazakh citizens which can be applied and the uh, Kazakh citizens can get the visa in two days and approximately cost 50 US dollars. Medical tourism is one of the fastest growing segments in Indian tourism as the country ac annually attracts a number of individuals for medical treatment. India's Ayurvedic therapy is also well known worldwide and Kazakh people are trying to uh, introduce that to their daily lives. Last year, approximately 20, 200 Kazakh citizens went to India for medical treatment. Culture is another area of cooperation between these two countries. The Indian culture center in the capital of Kazakhstan has been engaged in various activities for many years, offering yoga and musical instrument and Kathak Indian classical dance lessons for the Kazakh citizens. Every year, the center celebrates June 21 International Day of Yoga which is attended by a large number of yoga lovers in Kazakhstan.